In Escape from Tarkov, small mistakes make the difference between surviving a raid and losing a fight. And today we take a closer look in our coaching series, what we can do better. Dear comrades, Ivan a German is back and very welcome to the next episode of our Tarkov Community Coach series. Tarek sent me a perfect gameplay how he played on customs with his RSRSS and I have to stop this video immediately because I can see his loadout. So let's check it again. Uh, I want to see his modded RSRSS and of course his inventory. And of course a big shout out to Tarek. Thank you very much for this perfect example how to send us a gameplay. So let's jump to his gear because it's very interesting. So what we can see here he's playing a modded RSRSS which is nice because I love the RSS. It's a very nice weapon. But we should check out the recoil. 61 vertical recoil seems a little bit too much for the RSS. You can get it down to 39. The stock is okay, the moist stock, with the moist stock you can have more ergonomics and I would change the rail also because right now you have 61 vertical recoil again. In my opinion it's a little bit too much but if you like to have more ergo it's fine, it really depends on you. The killer armor is perfect, it's a very good armor and the bastion helm in my opinion it's also a little bit, that's this one here, in my opinion during the during a daytime raid, the Bastion Helm is a little bit over the top because you have to buy the helmet and the plate, of course, and most of the times you get shot in your face. I don't like the Bastion Helm during the daytime raid, but it really depends on your preference. If you like helmets, you are, of course, good to go. So let's jump back a just a little bit because I want to see his medical supplies. Also very nice, this is a perfect example. You have the AFEC, the Hemostat and the Probital. Perfect, 4, 5, 6. And we have some nades, we have some magazines everything is fine and let's continue so what we can see is he spawned behind the red hall and i don't have any clue what's going on in this gameplay i just uh skipped into some some um states of this gameplay to check out if the gameplay is fine so we had some shots close to the red hall maybe a scaf against the player no big deal for him easy shot um very nice He's turning down his speed a little bit, which is also very good to get some further information about what's going on. And I would say right now it seems very decent. Tarek also told me he's struggling a little bit with PvP, so I'm very interested in what's going on. Right now everything seems quite nice. Again, I only would change the modification from the Ersas. So he's checking every corner, every angle. This is a very... Yeah. Oh, very nice shot, man. Very, very nice shot. Yeah, what I what I try to say is this area is a little bit difficult because it's a very open area right in front of the red hall. You can get shot from everywhere. So, what we can see here, we have a dead player, level 15, with, like, basically a full gear with the current MP7A2 and the Ulach. Um, I made a video about the MP7, why maybe the MP7A2 is a little bit wasted because it's most of the times very expensive compared to the MP7A1 and the stats are not that good for the MP7A1 and not, not so good for MP7A2 compared to the A1. You should definitely check out this video. So you're struggling a little bit with the Ulach because right now you have a, a f in your, in your um, yeah, it, right now you got it. Right now you got it. So he's dropping his tricep, I guess. Yep, there we go. Basically fine. Looting speed is okay. Yeah, that's what I mean with the open area. But we hand he handled it well. He hurt the enemy. Try to look for cover. Right now it seems pretty confident, to be honest. Probital could be a little bit faster. But basically, okay. Retreating, flanking, perfect. Change your position, Tarek. So far, so good. Pretty, pretty decent in my opinion. And right now he has a lot of ammunition. Holy shit, 40, 80 rounds additional. But right now, as you can see, this is maybe a thing. Imagine you are almost in this area here. You can get shot from here. Right now he's, he has no cover during his healing animation. He can get shot and he can get shot from this entrance right there. So I would, I would maybe go a little bit around the red hall um, or in the corner or something like that. This position right here is a pre is pretty open, but I can get it. He's a little bit under, under, um, under pressure. So he's not healing his legs and uh, missing limbs completely, which is very interesting because right now he has no much health points and he get get, and he can get shot quite easily. 
So what I would recommend is, it really depends on the situation, but try to heal yourself completely. It's very important because even a bad weapon can kill you right now. Like for example, shot you in, in, the, in the legs or in the arms. So, but he tries to, to save his environment, not getting pushed or anything else, as you can see right now. He needs, he, or he has three blacked limbs, but he tries also to, to get the enemy. And of course you can, of course you get damage right now if you sprint, so you should be aware of that. But the fight was also, in my opinion, he handled quite well. That's the thing, again, this area in front of Red Hole is quite open and he handled the situation quite, quite neat. So, but right now he has to, he needs his health back. Yeah, he could hear him, he's outside and he can hear you too if you move. So this, so you should move or you should get away. Of course you can, okay, he will, he's pushing his enemy, Nate. I guess this nade is a little bit too far. Uh, that nade is a little bit too far. This nade seems a little bit better. But the problem with the F1 is the the throwing ability is not that good. And also the it takes too long till the nade explodes. And I guess he was like right behind the red hole and not in this bigger green stripe. So Tarek, in my opinion, you should get away from this current location as you're doing this right now. And you have to heal yourself. That's very important, dude. Yeah, checking corners, aiming is, is quite nice. So right now it seems he has he, he's he's confident. So I can't see any issues right here. Again, the F1 is not that not that nice. It's like it's, it's just a mediocre nade. Just a mediocre nade. Yeah, perfect. He's moving away from the from the battle, he's moving away from his last position and he tries to recover and of, got, and of course get his limbs back. That's pretty good. That's pretty nice. Well done so far. Okay, he skipped this. Pretty, pretty nice for me to, to comment everything. He made it quite well for, for me. So, big thumb up for you, Tarek. Thank you very much. So he's checking everything, it's like, he seems to be pretty, pretty confident again. He's checking everything, he knows what he's doing so far. So, again, the only thing I would change is the Arisas and a little bit of positioning or, or how fast you try to heal yourself. That's the only thing, because you are, especially as a solo player, you have to, you have to heal. Or you, have to, you need your HP back quite quite early. It's, it's very important that you are that you have 100% of your firepower and you don't have the firepower if you don't have full HP. So what do we got here? This is also a very dangerous uh, position. He's quite open but of course you can surprise your enemy. If your enemy is not completely lost he heard you're jumping around and he heard ev everything and he will kill you of course. So, you can do that, it's quite risky, but if it works, it works, of course. And don't forget, he's wasting a lot of nades right now. And if you are alone, you have no resupply op opportunity. So, some somebody over here, normal scaf. Yeah, I would... I would dodge this situation. I will. I would leave this area. It's it's very risky, especially right now. You don't know where your enemy is. You are you are chilling in the open area. Quite quite dangerous. This is very dangerous because you made a lot of noises. Um, other teams or other player can push your position, and as you can see right now, he can be upstairs, which is basically a trap for your opponent. You are quite. You have quite a good position. He's checking everything. That's nice. Not staying still is also very nice. Checking the doors. Yeah, that, this this seems pretty good. This seems very, very good. And very, very confident also. Turn on your tech light. Pretty good, Tarek. This is very nice. This is very, very nice. Using a tactical device. Checking the area. Pretty good, Tarek. Very nice. But again, I would leave the area because it's just a bad area to fight, in my opinion. You made a lot of noises. You are way too long in this area, so I would leave. 
So what's going on right now? I'll skip that a little bit because I'm not sure what's going to happen. So, so far so good. He is still alive, which is very nice as a solo player. Checking mechs from your opponent and checking magazines and weapons, which you've looted, was also very nice, very good. And right now he knows half mech in the MP7 and subsonic is not the best ammunition. So he has every information he needs. And he's checking everything. That's nice. That's very good. So we had some shots back to the red hall. He's going back to the red hall, I guess. Ah, he's not sure. <laughs> he's not sure. That's a good decision. Leaving the red hall, leaving the area. It's Oh no, don't stand still on the bridge. Dude, Tarek, don't do this to me. So he dropped the Ulach. I don't, I don't get it. Why? Oh, maybe he's too overweight, right? I have to check that really quick. But don't do this on the bridge, my man. Don't do this on the bridge. No, oh, I, I guess he's not overweight, right? He's almost no loot, so I don't, I don't get it, Tarek. It would be nice. Write it in the comment, please. Oh, what do you think, guys? Why did he drop the Ulach? We have some skiffs. Nothing special. So this bridge, or even this position, is quite open. I would leave this area also as fast as possible. Don't fight on the bridge. You are very, very open. It's a very open area. I would, I would dodge this. One on the B. One on the B. Blin. Yeah, right now he's a, he's struggling a little bit because you have to pre-aim. Yeah, you don't. You're aiming a little bit behind your enemy, and right now you are struggling because your weapon is too long, dude. Yeah, he. What we can see right now, his aiming is a little bit behind the enemy. No big deal, and I guess he can fix that. Um, but I'm not sure if he's aware of this small, small mistake, aiming a little bit behind your opponent. So what do we have here? Some scavs, maybe. Nice hip fire, pretty decent. But also no big deal with this weapon. Pretty good. He's healing, yeah, we are, he has, he has, he found the grizzly, it's nice. And right now he's pushing to dorms. Yeah, he's checking his environment, also very nice. For me, right now it seems confident. Just, I would say right now, a little bit of aim training. And a little bit in decision making. But after that, it's nice. As we can see, he checked everything. He uses his tech light, he's using nades. It's perfect, it's pretty good. And don't forget, you're a solo player. As a solo player, you don't have supplies, you don't have any anyone who can help you in this situation. So, so far so good, Tarek. Very nice. He's not looting too long. He's not wasting time, in my opinion. Again, maybe the start was a little bit slow, but he had three blacked out limbs and a pretty bad area to fight. So he's checking everything. He's really checking everything. We have some steps on the left. Suppress shots. Another scaff. And don't forget to zero your weapon. Some missed shots over here. Struggling a little bit, Tarek. What's going on? That's not your basic performance, Tarek. What's going on? No, just kidding. Um, guys, don't forget to zero your, your scope. It's not properly in Tarkov, but it helps a little bit. Um, right now it's fine, but I would zero it basically on 50 meters. Some weapons work better with, with, with the zeroing, with scopes. Some scopes are broke, and don't forget, certain weapons are zeroed with certain ammunition, like default ammunition in Tarkov. So because of its velocity, the M61 has a different zeroing compared to M80, for example. You have a different velocity and you have a different um, yeah, velocity and bullet drop and all that stuff. So he's really checking everything. Oh, where yeah. is the scaf boss? Seems like, I'm not sure. I don't want to go back to the, to the footage right now. I just want to keep on going. 
because I'm pretty interested what's what he's going to do. I like the flow, I like his flow. Again, he's checking everything using his tag light pretty well. Everything seems very confident. Maybe he heard something. I I didn't hear, hear anything right now. This so armor seems also good. Checking Max, perfect. And don't forget about your mech in your weapon. Yeah, nice, very good. Very good. Always use a fresh mech before you start a fight. Very nice. So his movement is not it's not bad at all. It's really not bad. So it seems to be very confident again. Crates are looted, so maybe someone is still in the area. We heard something. Oh, he, no, 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 you heard him. You heard him to your left. Derek, you heard him. No, you played so well. Let's go back. Oh, he didn't hear him. Oh my god. That was unlucky. Because you heard him right here. Do you hear it? Wait for it, wait for it. I go back again. Um, I maybe I guess I guess the issue so after he jumped down he raised his weapon also and maybe he thought it, it was his own um, noise that is so unlucky yeah right there and then he he checked the wrong corner first this is a 50 50 situation so right here right right here this guy there and after that, it's a 50-50 situation. Let's go back. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> yeah, oh man, that's, that's very unlucky. And I would say his reaction time in this situation was a little bit low. He was maybe a little bit distracted, I don't know. So Tarek, write in the comments if you see this video what you thought in this situation because you had couple of, of, of split seconds I would say like look at it again yeah pretty unlucky pretty pretty unlucky and that's the thing in Tarkov small mistakes smallest more small mistakes make the difference to survive a raid or to die so let me summarize Tarek's gameplay first of all this is just my opinion what I think about this gameplay and just my thoughts about it. Of course, I don't want to blame anybody. Of course, this is just uh, uh, serious to help everybody in the community out there and nobody's perfect, of course. And it's so important that you check your own gameplays and especially if you have your, your a buddy in your team and you ask him for, 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 his, um, for his thoughts, it's very nice, this helps a lot. And Tarek played it very well, in my opinion. He is a very, or it seems to be a very confident player and that's why I don't know why he thinks he's struggling in PvP or in some situations because it seems very confident. I would say work a little bit more on some modifications and work a little, uh, just a little bit, not, not in your aiming skills in general, but how Tarkov works with aiming and positioning. So sometimes pre-aim a little bit and sometimes you should take your time for your aiming. It seems like you're, you try to be very fast, which is good. But guys, don't forget, practice a little bit slower till you get confident. And after you have the confidence, you are or you will become much faster. And the last part was a little bit unlucky, but that's what I try to say every time. To have information, to have intel in Tarkov is so important. This certain intel that you could hear your opponent and with this certain information that you <laughs> saw your opponent, you could win this fight. Of course, he one tapped you, this is a little bit unlucky, but you had the advantage. He was in a room and you had every advantage to win this fight. That's what I think about this gameplay. Again, it's a pretty decent gameplay. And if you want to send us your gameplay from an actual raid, you can do this. 
it would be an honor for us to continue this video series with your gameplays. You only have to send us like Tarek did. You don't have to cut anything. You don't have to skip anything. We can do that for you if you want. Just write a comment in the comment section as well or join our Discord server. Every link down below. And don't forget guys, we Germans want to win at least something. And if it's your like for this very nice video and very nice gameplay from Tarek, I would really appreciate it. And let's jump to the next video. Stay safe guys.